Hello fellow Undertale and Deltarune fans, I'm glad that you're here to watch today's Deltarune analysis video, about, the 7 layers of darkness. This will be split into two parts, the lightners who met darkness and the 7 gates of darkness. So let's get into it. This section is about the light world and lightners. The light world contains no magic and no battle mechanics as seen so far and it inhabits lightners. These Lightners have the power to create and enter Dark Worlds. Currently we only know of 5 Lightners who will or have entered the Dark World, Chris, Susie, Noel, Birdly, the Knight. We can assume Caddy and Jockington will appear seeing as they have been given their own text box sprites like Noel and Birdly. So that would make it 7. We could count the Knight in this but I believe the Knight's only purpose is to create Dark Fountains and their identity and who they are means nothing, so I won't. These Lightners have seen or will see at least one Dark World. One going as far to open a Dark Fountain, that's Chris if you couldn't figure it out. In the normal route it is clear that these Lightners love the darkness and want to spend as much time in the Dark World as possible. As we see, Susie was in a rush to go back there in Chapter 2 and Birdly was going to create a new Dark Fountain. These Lightners have some connection to these Dark Worlds, even if minuscule such as Chris being connected to three dark worlds out of four so far. For the closet world they are connected to Ralsei because of Ralsei ties to Isreal. They are connected to the computer lab because they use the computers there. And the dreamer household dark fountain because it's where they live. I am not going to do this for every character, you guys are probably smart enough to figure it out yourselves. So let's take a look at the seven gates of darkness. The Dark World. It contains what the Light World does not, magic, a battle system and darkners. A gateway to them is made by a determined enough Lightner creating a dark fountain, the gateway into the Dark World. Also I think it's just me but it seems to parallel the seven layers of hell, seeing as there are seven chapters each supposedly with their own Dark World, and the Light World, supposedly, being seen as heaven thus making the Dark World hell. Also each Dark World so far has had a ruler of sorts. Ralsei being the prince of his the closet Dark World, and king and queen are rulers of their own Dark Worlds. But then again they don't share qualities with the seven deadly sins. Anya back to the gates. These gates are interesting, seeing as they can only be closed by Chris's soul. And when they are closed, we end up back in the Light World. Almost like their purgatory the archaic form of the word which means, having the quality of cleansing or purifying. This can be seen when Susie no longer torments and bullies Chris and considers them a friend after leaving the dark world. Now I know some of you are probably thinking about the Snowgrave route but it could be seen as your sins being too great and instead of going to a purgatory you would spiral down into hell. Also this purgatory would be one of torture which is interesting it seems to be one of joy and entertainment. Well that's it for this video. I made this after releasing the similarities between Seven Layers of Hell, Purgatory and the Dark Worlds after struggling with another script about, the game inside a game. Well I hope you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. CYA next time.